fixing to uh, do a christening of our longhorn stove and cook a, cook a pot of chili and by the way if you want a really good recipe for chili two pounds of ground meat for this is a big recipe you can split in half if you want two pounds of ground meat uh, two cups of uh, onions and then uh, a bell pepper and some garlic that's what Cajuns call heavenly trio by the way it's uh, Onions, garlic, and onions, garlic, and uh, bell pepper. Shit, I can't open that here. But that's basically what we got there. And in here we have two tablespoons of uh, powder and about three tablespoons of chili powder and some salt, about two teaspoons of salt. And there's the uh, uh, bell pepper and garlic heavenly trio so brown your ground meat drain it if you need to throw in uh, your onions garlic bell pepper cook it for about 10 minutes or so make up a paste out of that right there put about three four tablespoons or teaspoons or tablespoons of water and uh, cook it for a few minutes let it take it up a little bit throw in two 16 ounce cans of uh, baked beans that's a little bit more than that and two cans of tomato sauce and that plus some Cafe Du Mont Louisiana coffee and chicory right there Cafe au lait and some berry blend wine now ain't that pretty some berry blend wine that's sweet and now we have and that's a berry blend with strawberry and then we have a berry blend here which is uh, black, blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, and that's a that's yeah that's dry, dry. like want to dry, and then we have our Concord grape white wine, and you can't really tell it, but these are all nice and clear and excellent, excellent. Oh 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 oh, good wine. <laughs> All right, so Mike's got plenty of wood ready. Looks like enough wood for a couple of the cookings. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're fixing to get her fired up. So we put a little, bunch of little one in there. Then we're going to fry, fry some uh, hamburger when we first get it cranked up. So he's got it stoked up with some small wood, get it going really fast so we can get the busy, get to eating. And <laughs> that's the old nasty, rusty, uh, <clears throat> black iron skillet or Dutch oven that was in all of our other videos. Mike cleaned it up today with a wire brush on a four inch grinder. And then I put a couple of coats on the uh, stove. Oh, that's some beautiful stuff right now. Anyway, here we go. Fixing to get her cranked up. And uh, see, we're going to cook a pot of chili. We'll be back with you in a minute. I got this. I'm going to do this Yep, good draw. 
Right now we got a little, <laughs> little wood out. in there. Right there. No. About 12. I flipped her at the takeout. About 12 inch. You flipped her? At the takeout. At the takeout? Yeah, the big rock. Gave her a swim. Oh, yeah. We splashed and the rock. Where's the pictures, No we smoke. We got our pot warming up down there. <laughs> and you can see the kind of station starting to form here on the uh, coffee pot. That's well water. That's good and cold. We'll be warming that up in just a few minutes. And we'll pour a little bit of. And you can see that's good and hot. And we got our coffee pot going here. And that is definitely. Definitely warm. It, I don't know. I can't leave the camera there for long, but let's see if you can. Uh, it's up there a pretty good bit. Oof. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell it or not, but you'll see a little. Yep, yeah, you can see a little flame coming up there. So you put that small wood in there and let it go ahead and get good and hot, and you'll actually that's flames actually heating that plate right there, and you can see it jumping in and out of there well it's not showing up too good on the camera but it's getting ready to go so we'll stoke it up a little bit more get things going good then we'll throw our hamburger in there and get it get the chili started about five minutes now everything should be good to heat up Some extra wood in it. So, uh, let's get down there kind of close in here. Yeah, that'll be going, that'll be going pretty good here in just a few minutes. Takes a while for that. Pot's got to get good and hot. I'll go get a contact from mom and we'll start checking temperatures out. Stop it. Forty degrees. It's getting heated up good, and then uh, we'll shoot this right up underneath the pot here, coffee pot. That's around 340, 337, and then right down here at the base of the pot, we're around 730 degrees, and on the ass end, about. Oh. There we go. 
about 650 and in the front about 740 so you get the so up underneath that pot probably 750 degrees you get some idea of what it takes what temperatures it takes to cook so uh, that's a 750 degree so we're gonna run it up and get it up about 800 850 but you can see that's cooking fine Up here and get a shot of the pot here. You can see it's cooking good. See that steam coming off the back end over there? Oh, yeah. Well, I decided to quit right as I said that, but anyway, here we go. Oh. Yeah, I'd say that hamburger. That hamburger's cooked, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Alright, next stage of the game. Put our heavenly trio in there. Yep. Which is our uh, green onion, bell pepper, I mean, and garlic. Oh. And then. There you go, that and one. one of our, uh, about two cups of onions. Never get too many onions in there, they're good for you. Plenty of antioxidants and it's super healthy for you. And then we're gonna let that cook down a little bit. Let those veggies soften up. Now we've just added a bunch of, that was frozen actually right there. We just added a bunch of cool stuff to it. We we'll dropped that lid back on there. And that's looking good already. We'll let that warm back up again. And uh, see, coffee hasn't started percolating yet. But it's got to be close. Because we were. Uh, Still fire coming up through that thing? <coughs> yeah. I don't hold that camera up there too long. I won't. But, uh, yeah, and then the lid here. Now we're back up to about five. Wow, that was cool. Getting up. Getting up there, five, six, three. Five fifty. And then right up underneath our pot here, we're about 380. 383 is what it says. And then up underneath here, we're running right around 800 degrees. Wow. Back here in the back. About 700 in the back. So we're good cooking temp. We're fully ready to roll here. And this should be already warming up again. Yeah, you can see. Starting to bubble a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, it's going to take it long, is it? Uh, we might. Uh, Stoke this up a little bit more since we got something we can cook real fast. some idea of how this works you got your fire right there you feed tube then you burn chamber burn chamber is definitely the hottest that's where we got the uh, pot for the chili isn't that a beautiful pot it was covered with rust a while ago set that sucker right on top of the gas uh, I turned it on and got me a roll of a uh, couple of paper towels and just kept putting it on there and letting it smoke and that's a beautiful pot now. 
you can see the steam coming out the other side. It's backed up to uh, definite cooking temperature. You want to lift that lid for just a second, Mike? Mm -hmm. Got that beautiful glass of wine there. Yeah, see, it's going, it's going good again. It won't take long. Those things will be softened up. You start once while it's open? Yeah, I'll go ahead. And then this is our second surf cooking surface here. We could have done this in the daylight, but you know what it looks like. But I wanted to demonstrate to you. Here's here's where all the heat's coming in. That's the hottest part of the stove right there. You're losing heat as you go up. That cooking surface is taking a lot of the heat out. And you'd think, now that's that's hot. You stick your hand over the top of that right there. You won't leave it there for just a split second. And then here's the uh, coffee pot. But I just wanted you to hear this. Wait till this uh, car passes. We're on the beautiful Nantahala River and there's quite a bit of traffic here from time to time. But I want you to hear the difference. We'll go ahead and move this pot down. You can immediately hear it start. It may was real close to boiling to begin with, but moving it, you would think that, that would be the hottest spot on the stove right up above the smokestack. But not the way the heat's distributed. So we drop that thing down there. So definitely, as you go up, the the heat is getting uh, you know dissipating out through the surfaces of the uh, stove. So that's going to be your hottest, and then those are going to be your next hottest. So and you have this here that you see that little that little star. We don't have it's bright out here. The freaking Light, but you can see that little square, and uh, that's just sitting up on top of there. Nope, I'm not going to move that, but anyway. But um, that's that's going to be two really nice warming surfaces right there. We'll get that coffee going so we can have some more coffee to go with our homemade wine. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that uh, that's our wine right there. And this takes, this is a berry blend with strawberry, and I wish you could smell it and taste it and see. Of course you can't, but man, is that, that's potent stuff. It's really good. And by the way, this only takes about 12 days from start to finish. Hmm. 12 days from start to finish. And uh, that's my, <laughs> Kathy bought us a, pair of wine glasses and see the name etched in there and we rush primary fermentation and then secondary fermentation we process ourselves. so we actually force it we do the manual uh, secondary fermentation is totally manual so we degas it and uh, that helps to clear it and all that good stuff you ready Kathy yep let's do this thing Let's do the dang thing. Let's do the dang thing. All right, now we go in with our. Let's see if that's getting hot in there. Oh yes. Oh yeah. That's ready to go, ain't it? Yep. So we put our tomato sauce in there, and another tomato sauce. Two 16 ounce cans plus a little bit of uh, red beans. We go with the chili con carne. Excellent recipe. Yep, I'd say that's cooking pretty good. And then we'll stir that up a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's going to be some good chili. Sir, guaranteed. And then we'll let that simmer a little bit. Here. All right. Let's set the lid up here. Are you sure? Okay. And then we're gonna add our uh, 
chili powder and and uh, flour. Salt. Which is gonna sink and salt, which is gonna thicken that up a little bit. And flavor it up. How many people do you think is cooking a big old pot of chili like that on a rocket stove at night? Not too many. <laughs> I wonder what the rich people are doing this What the rich people are doing tonight. Oh yeah, that's shaping up just fine, is it? it? Looks like some of that Burke's best chili, don't it? Now we're going to do a little experiment here in a minute. Since this is going good, you can tell that lid's been off for a while. Still blubbing away. And we're really just looking to simmer right now. So, And our coffee is doing pretty good. So we'll just show you something here on how that all works. Set that over there for a second. I'll show them the difference between... Now that coffee, you can see it's just going to town. But watch this. Just to give you an idea of the difference in the heat between the two. We'll put this up here. That's we're just looking to simmer. And sit down there. And within just a minute or so, you'll see that, ra that rascal there be going to town. It'll start actually bubbling out. There it goes. Actually bubbling out of there. So you can see how hot that surface is. So now we're going to use our other, since that coffee's good and done, now we'll just put it up there and you'll see it slowly go back to just a little bump every now and then. That thing's got a little cloud on that side, doesn't it? Yeah. Turn it around here. There we go. That's good. There we go. And within a few minutes, you'll see that go back to a blip, blip, blip every now and then so it shouldn't uh, it should just go back to you know just warming but we've got it pretty warm right now so this let's see what this looks like okay. not near as hot as it was down there on the bottom on it but that's a nice fast simmer now we can let that wood slow down a little bit and uh, we can control that that temperature for the whole stove we'll just let that burn down a little bit and, and uh, or we could throw a little something over the top of that restrict that airflow a little bit and cause it to burn a smaller amount of that fuel and uh, we could cause that still you can see go back to that pot it's still going in it's still going good isn't it mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is still cooking good but that's doing just right that'll definitely be a nice simmer yeah, a few minutes of that and we'll be ready to eat rocket stoves guys can't beat them can't live with them can't live without them these are uh, this is what we call our tailgater special or longhorn looks like it's football goal to me Longhorn, that's their, that's the way they do it. They say, yeah, go ahead, Longhorn. So you can call it what you want, Long, Longhorn, Tailgater Special, either way. But that's one mean cooking machine there, as far as I'm concerned. All right, cheers. We'll catch up with you a little bit. I wanted to show you after it been a few minutes sitting on the, uh, check out the coffee there. Remember I told you just a little blip blip every now and then? There you go. A little blip blip every now and then. Now what we'll do, and you can see a little smoke coming out there, coming out the other side of it. So, and this is full, by the way. So, when you get a little bit of coffee out of there, it'll uh, it'll just about quit. And it'll just sit there. Now, that's got a two-inch riser on it. This piece here 
is two inches and then we'll build some that are uh, say inch and a quarter three quarters maybe one inch but uh, now you see we're just now starting to get a little bit of smoke coming out of the chimney you can see that that's because we're starting to burn a little low on wood and it doesn't have that uh, jet flow like you would normally expect so that's something that just rocket stoves now if we just jiggle this around a little bit and get that wood laying down in there that should stop see there now look up there see that smoke has quit already now now let's see how we're doing here now we're slowly dying down but look we still got a really nice simmer and a hell of a pot of chili coming up cooked on a longhorn stove tailgater special stove so yes sir -y. cheers cheers how you like that huh like a stove all right really chili is done I want and uh, yeah it's just to eat huh did we get crackers uh, yeah, yeah we Remember, crackers are uh, yeah. No, I haven't brought them out yet. Now, is that a good looking? And we call that chili Frito pie. And then we'll throw some cheese and sour cream on top of that. And oh, that'll be some good stuff. Oop. Hard to see, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. Cheese and sour cream. Oh, well. One bowl, no Fritos? Yeah, Fritos don't sit in my stomach sometimes. Well, I just had two, right? Two, sorry. three, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll dump those Fritos out of one of them. Oh. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Is this Fritos? Yeah. All of them. All but one, and that's the last one. Figure that out? <laughs> and there's plenty where this comes from. You are so kind. Made a double pot recipe. Feed some hungry. Feed some hungry tailgaters. I believe that covers everybody. Mm -hmm. Turn the light around. No Fritos? No Fritos. Jimmy, right. turn the light around. Huh? That light, turn it around so I can see everybody. There's our crew. There's our tailgate crew, but there's no, uh, yeah. no football game. No football game. <laughs> no football. <laughs> We're just chilling here at the house. You got that sour cream lopped on there. Yes, sir. It's time to eat. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everyone. Cool. Go for yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, that's some good coffee. That is some good coffee right there. And then we'll set this back up here since we knocked the top off of it. And it'll, uh, it'll just sit there. Just sit there and just, and while we let this coals right here just slowly burn out, because we're done cooking, we'll get a little bit of smoke off the stacks for a while while it's burning down. But uh, we could easily be cooking another couple of hours. This is about a 45 minute recipe, by the way. So, uh, but we cut our wood down kind of small because it was wet and uh, it was real moist here in the gorge and we didn't cook with any real big diameter wood although we could have but we had something here that we could go ahead and jack the temperature up on and cook it fairly quickly but it's been about an hour uh, hours worth of cooking and you see what wood we have left down there and we were uh, burning it pretty pretty heavy we about half of that was pine, half of that was oak. All right. Cheers. Time to eat dinner. <laughs>